Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me today from Actinogen Medical is CEO and Managing Director, Dr. Bill Cotelby. Bill, welcome back to FNN. Thank you, thank you, Rachel. Now, Actinogen is a development biotech company that specializes in Alzheimer's and other cognitive diseases. Can you tell me more? Yes, so what's been recognized in, in recent uh, research over the last decade or so is there's a clear association between raised cortisol. Now cortisol, to put that in context, that's the stress hormone that we all produce uh, throughout the day. But raised cortisol, persistently raised cortisol, in an elderly person is associated with cognitive decline and significantly is associated with the development and the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Our hypothesis behind our research and behind our drug is that if we can inhibit that cortisol production in the brain, particularly in the areas of the brain most affected by Alzheimer's disease, we may well have an impact on the disease. And that's the research we're undertaking right now. And now to the Xanadu phase two trial. Can you tell me more about that, starting with the key outcomes? So the Xanadu phase two trial is our trial in mild Alzheimer's disease. The outcomes of the trial are the standard outcomes you'd expect in any quality uh, uh, re, um, development study for an Alzheimer's drug. Any regulatory authority or research uh, team um, or any commentator speaking on Alzheimer's disease would look for these outcomes that we have in our study. We're progressing incredibly well. We started the trial um, middle of last year. We've got, as of this morning, 149 patients on the trial. That's out of a total of 174, so only 25 more patients to go on the trial. So we're making great progress and we'll have results very soon. And what can you tell me about the extended development program for Xenomem? So just in the last month or so, we undertook a very successful capital raise. We brought on board a number of big institutional investors, including BVF from America, uh, Platinum Asset Management in Australia, Australian Ethical. We raised 16 and a half million and what that funding allows us to do is broaden out the data set that we're generating around Xanamem. Uh, we've obviously got Xanadu ongoing, that's the Alzheimer's trial, but what we wanted to initiate were additional studies, more specialized, uh, studies called target occupancy, which measures the specific inhib inhibition of, of the enzyme in the brain, higher dose safety studies. We want to do initiate a number of uh, uh, toxicology studies and to look at additional indications. Now this funding has allowed us to do that and in fact we've initiated some of these studies already. And what are the market expansion opportunities for that? Okay, so within this, this uh, broadened development program is the opportunity to look at indications other than Alzheimer's disease. The mechanism of action of the way the drug works through inhibiting cortisol in the brain opens up the opportunity for a broader cognitive uh, improvement in a, in a susceptible population populations that include diabetics, uh, Parkinson's patients, uh, schizophrenics, depressive patients, potentially epilepsy. All of them are associated with raised cortisol and in susceptible populations with decreased uh, cognitive ability. Our uh, hypothesis is that through inhibiting that excess cortisol in the brain, we could improve cognition. So not only in Alzheimer's, but potentially in a number of other indications as well. And now let's talk about your financials and to the share price. What is your cash position? Okay, so our cash position is actually very strong. In the last uh, month or so, we, we uh, did a very successful capital raise, cornerstone by BVF, Biotechnology Value Fund, a specialist biotechnology fund from San Francisco in the US. Uh, alongside of um, a Platinum, Australian Platinum Asset Management and Australian Ethical. So three very strong uh, conservative funds specializing in uh, biotech investment came onto the register and in fact reflect uh, three of the four 
um, leading uh, shareholders uh, in, in Actinogen. That's excellent news. And are you able to provide a comment on the share price for the last 12 months? I think we're in great shape now to begin to see the market recognize the true value of, of our uh, business uh, going forward as we obviously approach the, the readout from our Alzheimer's trial in uh, the second quarter of next year. And last question now, why should investors consider adding Actinogen to their portfolios? Well, the investment opportunity for Actinogen is very exciting right at this point in time. We've got a novel treatment, novel mechanism of action for treating Alzheimer's disease. We've proved our drug gets across the blood-brain barrier. We've demonstrated in human and animal studies that our hypothesis works and everybody knows how huge and, and significant and importantly unmet the Alzheimer's market is. And at this point in time we uh, truly believe our business is undervalued by the market. So we've got a great opportunity for investors to come in at this point when we truly believe we're on the cusp of something very big. Dr. Bill Catelby, thanks for the update. Thank you.